Japan is the leading country for capsule hotels. They opened the very first one in Osaka in 1979. So today we're going to visit another one of those cool capsule hotels. Hi guys, it is Victoria Rose right here. I'm out in Ikibukuro right now in Japan and I'm making an impromptu video because there's a place that I wanted to go before I left here. I wanted to stay here. It's another kind of capsule-like hotel. It's called Book and Bed and it's literally staying in a bookcase. Now, I'm not sure where it's at. I think it's up in this building, but I'm going to go there and stay in a bookcase and show you guys exactly my experience. I booked it tonight, which is around like $28 on Agoda. I highly recommend Agoda if you're traveling. So now I'm just gonna go look for it and we're going to go and stay in a bookcase. Uh, let's go. Tokyo has so many cool hidden gems. I'm in Ikibukuro all the time and I've never seen this place. So I just showed them my online reservation and they asked for your passport and then they give you your key card and a free towel. When you walk in, the first thing you see is obviously tons and tons of books and pages on the ceilings and cool lights. It has a very zen atmosphere. The thing I like the most about this hotel is that it actually is in a bookcase, like you are sleeping <laughs> in a bookcase. Now there's not a ton of airflow, but there is no ceiling on the top bunk. It's a very simple design and you get your own storage space thin mattress, and a fan, which I love so much. They also provide you with earplugs because it gets kind of noisy. You are sleeping with like a bunch of other people in the same room, so it's kind of inevitable. Another interesting thing about this particular hotel is you have to make your own bed. And the mattress is actually super thin, but it's not too uncomfortable. I liked it anyways. It's kind of an effort to get up and down the ladder. And it's also kind of a small hole to get into your bookcase. They do sell essential oil and diffusers here, uh, amongst some other type of merch stuff. And also, they have English books and Japanese books. There's nothing really special about the toilets or whatever, but for tour purposes, I'm going to show you <laughs> the bathrooms. They're uh, unisex, men and women, and you get your own toilet room. <laughs> As I explored further, I realized that the sink and mirror area is shared by both men and women as well, but there are separate shower rooms, which I'm like, oh, I don't know how to get in, but you push the door in, aha. <laughs> You do get a free towel, but you don't get a free toothbrush. Just so you know, it's 100 yen for the toothbrush. As you can see, it is kind of a squeeze to get into the bunk. Also, in the bathroom there is blow dryers, but you're only allowed to use them to a certain time. And there's another floor that you're allowed to go into as well, and this is the 8th floor. They have a little bit more upbeat music and a little bit of a different aesthetic, so you can explore both areas.
for some people, capsule hotels are quite small if you're a little bit claustrophobic. I was super excited to realize there is a fan because I miss sleeping with a fan but then I plugged it in and it actually wasn't working. So I had to go down to the office and ask to get a new one. You can also get water and coffee and alcohol from the front desk. They have Wi-Fi, but it was a little slow at the end of the night. In the showers, they do provide you with shampoo, conditioner, and body soap. I got my new little fan working, and then I needed to set my alarm because checkout is at 11 o'clock. I then went to sleep for maybe like half an hour, and, but then I woke up. There was a bit of snoring, uh, a lot of shuffling around, and someone was eating some snacks. And I'm just like, Ugh. but I guess it's a good time to check out the books and kind of chill because there wasn't as many people awake at that time, which was probably like three in the morning. Like I said, there is quite a, a large variety of books in Japanese and English. There's picture books. There's lots to choose from, so you'll probably be able to find something that you like. This hotel also has the option to come in during the day or for a shorter amount of time for less money. So if you just want to come in and nap or read, you can do that too. So I didn't get a ton of sleep, but for the like two hours I slept, it was pretty good. The next morning I put on a tiny bit of makeup that I had in my book bag, which wasn't a lot, just a little bit of lipstick and mascara. And then you have to actually take the bed sheets and everything off yourself as well. Uh, obviously I'm super good at it. <laughs> <laughs> to check out, you just give the front desk your card and you're good. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, are you an artist? <laughs> uh, I do YouTube. Huh? YouTube? Oh, YouTube. Oh, for Namai yeah. Hiko. Do you have the channel? Yeah. Oh. Do you write it down? Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's nice to wake up and be directly in the city. Ikibukuro is a really great city to visit while you're here. Okay, so I am out of the hostel. I need to find some food. So I'm gonna to go to a convenience store and just get um, breakfast real quick and then I'm going to go ahead and go to the gym. I only brought like a tiny bit of makeup. This guy is staring at me. He's just sitting there staring at me. And, uh, and then he's still staring at me. And then I'm going to, um, yes, go to the gym. And that's the plan. So I'm gonna get some breakfast and then go to the gym. <laughs> I'm 
with me to brush my teeth. They didn't provide toothbrushes there, so I didn't know. <laughs> Sports Center. I'm gonna go in and do a workout, but before I went, I just wanted to uh, say goodbye to you guys and thank you for joining me on this vlog. It was fun. Leave a comment below if you would sleep in a bookcase and if you liked it. I really liked the overall concept of the hotel. It was comfortable and it had a fan, which is what I required to sleep, so I was happy about that. Um, you had to buy the extra toothbrush. It smells like pee over here. I'm pretty sure there's been pee. There's pee. I see it. <laughs> so unusual for Japan. Uh, it's really okay. I should go. But um, stick to terrestrial. Stay tuned for the next video. Um, I have to leave Japan soon and I'm pretty scared, really scared and sad about it. Have a book day. <laughs> okay. But you don't have to take my word for it. Comment below if you know where that's from. All right. I'll see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video and my other videos about Japan. Make sure you leave a like if you did and subscribe if you haven't already. And again, thank you for watching all the way till this point. Uh, I love you so much. Bye.